Hi, I'm Heather, and I'm an application development engineer here at Keysight, and today we're doing amplifier testing in our lab. So our customers who are using amplifiers want to test them under many conditions, not just nominal conditions, whether the load is changing due to a degraded performance of an antenna or they're doing robustness testing, they want to measure the performance as the load condition is varied. All right, so let me show you my setup. So we're going to start with the PNA. The PNA is using the modulation distortion application to measure the distortion characteristics of the amplifier. So you get the lowest residual EVM, and the most accurate measurements because we have vector correction at the receivers. And then we have the dual channel VXG. Now this is providing our modulated input signal to the DUT, and it's also controlling the load conditions. This is able to really tightly control the gamma across the entire modulation bandwidth. Super cool, first time we've been able to do this. This is our active load pole solution. The VXG plus the PNA and our arbitrary load control software which guides the user through the entire measurement. Okay, so for the physical setup, I'm using external couplers going to our receivers and I have my device under test. And then I have attenuation, I'm using an isolator that improves our load match and my booster amplifier to make sure I can get at all the gamma values that I want. And this module is just communicating with my device under test. All right, so in the arbitrary load control software, which is on the PNA, our user can set up the stimulus signal. This is coming from the VXG. And again, this is synthesizing the gamma condition that we want. They can set up the tolerance that they need, and then finally the gamma values that they want to measure. And they can do this with a particular phase rotation. All right, so the result of this measurement is that we have EVM as a function of the output power, and that is with a modulated input signal as we're varying the load condition. And this gamma, the load condition, is very tightly controlled across the entire modulation bandwidth because we're using the VXG. So one of the other ways you can specify the load conditions that you want to measure your DUT under is by doing a custom gamma load profile. And the way you can do this is you could actually simulate, for example, an antenna in ADS and then import the gamma profile of that antenna using our software. Then the VXG will synthesize that gamma profile. So now your DUT is being measured with a modulated input signal with the gamma profile that you design in ADS. This solution is powerful because the PNA gives us the lowest residual EVM and the VXG tightly controls the gamma across the entire modulation bandwidth. I'm so glad I got to share this new product with you. If you want to learn more, check out links to our app note and other videos in the description below.